Que onda vatos? Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video infamous coming at you from the west coast yet again. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Much appreciated. Let's go ahead and get on with the topic of today's ride. Just wanted to give you guys my own take on rider assists, all right? Just something that I've been kind of seeing in the, uh, in the comments where a lot of you guys don't like the fact of paying for ABS, of, of it being a standard option and having to uh, pay for that. I believe on some of the bikes, $795 option. It used to be $925 back in, uh, I believe, 2018 or 19. So, I mean, the price went down by, you know, close to 200 bucks, which is nice, of course. And now we see that ABS option, and now that's at uh, 725 bucks. And recently, this year, 2021, we saw another rider assist from Harley-Davidson, another one, uh, RDRS, which is pretty much uh, traction control, pretty much, that's what it is. And to my surprise, the Sportster S has this as a standard uh, rider assist, along with ABS, which is nice. Honestly, the way I see it, rider assist can't come in clutch, they can save your ass. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like the engine guard. You guys, you guys know what I'm saying. The engine guard, yes, you guys might be experienced. You guys know how to handle the bike. So why would you even get an engine guard? It's just, you know, it's just nice to have just in case. I mean, uh, the way I see it with the, uh, with the rider assist, you know, it's nice to kind of have the, the tech just in case. I mean, we're not going to be on it all the time. We're not going to be at our peak performance uh, all the time and the way I see it is it's just nice to have just in case if we're slouching maybe uh, maybe we're, we're hung over maybe we're doing stuff that we're not supposed to be doing kind of like drinking and, and riding I know some of you guys some of us we just like going to bars we like having a, a few uh, a few drinks and you know uh, stuff just happens we, we, we might be slightly impaired our balance might not be 100% and uh, our reaction time can also suffer from that so I'm just saying you know I know a lot of you guys out there I've seen you guys' comments you know you guys believe we should be developing these skills uh, progressive uh, brake pressure kind of like what you see with uh, with Dan Dan the fireman yes uh, and like I mentioned this is my first modern sort of my first modern bike where uh, where uh, it, it, this is honestly my first ABS bike. I've, I've never had ABS, so I, you know, it's just nice to have just in case, kind of like the engine guard. It's a $200 something option. I did drop the bike and it saved me thousands of dollars. Something like uh, the Rider Assist, RDRS, ABS, that could save your, your life, it could. And uh, like I said, you don't have to be on it 100%. And I mean on it, it's just like alert and uh, have that perfect reaction time to everything. Uh, I was riding daydreaming uh, the other day and I was looking at a Tacoma. I was admiring the, the, the Tacoma and, and I caught myself, uh, uh, you know, just not being alert. And I had to swerve, I had to avoid a, a vehicle. And I mean, it could have been worse. So I'm just saying maybe there's gravel, maybe there's something like that. I don't know if you guys seen some of those videos where the rider assist comes in clutch. Icy roads, I've seen some uh, some BMWs uh, kick in with that rider assist, that traction control. And it just, you know, it, it honestly saves the rider. It, it can save you from thousands of dollars. And honestly, I mean, yes, 700 for the ABS and then maybe who knows how much they're, they're going to be raising. The, uh, the 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 price for uh, RDRS maybe I mean maybe Harley can probably somehow figure it out to kind of keep the cost down and include those uh, those rider assists as a standard feature uh, a lot of a lot of other countries I believe Canada it's it's a standard or it's it's a mandatory uh, uh, feature for for uh, for bikes and vehicles uh, they have to have ABS so. I mean, just that's just me, though. All right, and I know uh, the Pan America. You can actually shut that stuff off in uh, in some custom modes or in uh, sport mode. I believe it's limited with the ABS, but uh, I think you could shut off some of those Raider assists. 
and I'm not I mean I'm not gonna I'm just gonna say you know what some of those writer assists I guess some of the stunt writers do not want them but I mean they, they have a lot of options if they wanted an M8 they could go all the way back to 2018 2019 where some of those uh, models they don't have uh, ABS and they don't have some of those writer assists that would uh, prohibit them from from uh, from from doing all that stunt writing and honestly if you're a stunt writer <laughs> uh, to be doing it on a brand new bike that's financed and everything like that I mean really honestly I just don't yes I guess you do have some of those folks out there that are uh, that are that, that have the experience but normally if you're getting into stunt riding or if you're getting into that type of, uh, of uh, of a scene honestly i really believe you should be considering use a used bike or something that's a little bit older just so you don't uh mess up uh, these beautiful bikes but you know what that's, that's just me whenever i see a stunt rider uh you know doing wheelies or, or burnouts on a brand new bike i, I you know I'm, i for, there's a little bit of me like oh god i hope he doesn't drop the bike and uh, typically when, when they do drop the bike, I, I just cringe. I just go, I'm like, oh man. And I could just, you know, I'm just thinking about the numbers, the, the thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, Laylaw's Nick, he, he recently had a little bit of a minor bender. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, fender bender. And he mentioned uh, just on that little minor bump, that minor little accident, uh, it turned out to be, uh, I believe, over ten thousand dollars worth of damages on his uh, on his 2021 lowrider S. So, I mean, yes, back on topic. I just kind of wanted to just uh, tell you guys my reasoning because I am going to be talking about RDRS and the benefits and some of the upcoming videos. I mean, this might be, like I said, this might be something that we might see as a standard feature for the 2022s. No, God, please, no, no. No! So you know what? That's that's just me. Uh, th that's the way I see it. You know, just in case, I mean, these roads—they're not maintained well. There's potholes. There's oil uh, oil slicks. Uh, there's uh, there's gravel. There's all kinds of different elements out here. We just don't know what we're gonna run into. I mean, we, we don't know what's ahead, and we might just get caught off guard and. Like I mentioned, we might not be on it that day, and it could cost us big time. And to have those rider assists just in case to help us out, yes, you should uh, take your courses. You should, uh, perf you know, uh, fine tune your uh, your skill. We in here talking about practice, and uh, that's just my my own thoughts on on rider assists. You guys go ahead and leave your own comments down below. You guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So anyways, you guys just stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read, life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.